Welcome to the technical demonstration of Sparrow IQ by Solana Networks. During this presentation, you'll see how Sparrow IQ increases visibility into any network infrastructure. You'll also see its ease of deployment and how you'll be able to quickly gain access to easy to understand traffic and bandwidth usage intelligence. We'll then show you how Sparrow IQ will lead to a reduction in time spent troubleshooting, thus helping you to resolve performance issues faster. Finally, we'll illustrate how to leverage Sparrow IQ's reports and alerting capabilities. Sparrow IQ is an all-in-one monitoring solution that can be deployed in a matter of minutes to provide real-time visibility and bandwidth consumption. It allows IT administrators and MSPs to easily monitor network activity metrics from interactive gadgets such as conversations, applications, users, countries, and more. Sparrow IQ's unique design includes a built-in network probe or sniffer, meaning that it can be quickly and easily deployed in any environment whether NetFlow-capable equipment are present or not. In a typical deployment scenario, Sparrow IQ will be used to monitor critical paths or bottlenecks within the network, which in most organizations is the Internet Gateway as shown here. The installation and configuration process only takes a few minutes. Sparrow IQ can be installed on a PC, laptop, or virtual machine running a Windows operating system. A Windows server is not required, but can be used if preferred. The next step is to configure a port mirror or span on the switch downstream from the gateway router, which will send a copy of the selected network traffic to a designated monitor port. If the switch does not support port mirroring, another option would be to install a network tap in line to access the network traffic. Also note that a NetFlow deployment option is supported by Sparrow IQ should you prefer using that method to monitor your network traffic. The next step is to simply connect the Sparrow IQ device to the mirror or span port. Once Sparrow IQ is launched, it begins analyzing network traffic and generating flow records in real time. It classifies and organizes these records so that you can quickly and easily determine how network resources are being utilized. You can log in locally or remotely using any web browser. This includes the option to use Android or iOS mobile devices. Within three minutes of startup, the Sparrow IQ dashboard begins displaying the analysis of network traffic activity. A summary of the results will be presented through a set of gadgets that provide details on the different characteristics of your network traffic. Also provided are tools to control the reported data, including dynamic filtering options, gadget selection, duration selection, and the option to generate PDF reports of any screen. With Sparrow IQ, you can get an almost endless number of ways to view the network traffic statistics of your network. Sparrow IQ has nine interactive gadgets that are pre-configured and enabled by default, right out of the box. The dashboard gadgets are customizable with drag and drop capabilities and can be rearranged or removed as preferred, allowing you to focus on specific network areas that are of most importance. Let's start by looking at the Traffic Statistics Summary Gadget. This gadget is meant to give you a quick summary of the overall network traffic status. It's a great starting off point, providing you a summary of the total and average traffic volume in addition to the minimum and maximum bandwidth rates for the specified period. Quite handy when quickly trying to determine if there are any traffic anomalies. Now let's take a look at the Top Conversations gadget. This highlights the top five pair of IP addresses consuming the most network bandwidth for the chosen period of time. The IP addresses in each pair are placed next to each other with an indication of the amount of data from each direction. This is a default view, but you may change to a pie chart if preferred by clicking on the chart icon on the top right corner of the gadget. This gadget allows you to quickly identify the top conversations contributing to the overall traffic for the selected time period. To get related traffic statistics around any particular conversation, you can simply click on the conversation pair, which will take you into drill down mode, effectively limiting or filtering the traffic to a subset that you wish to analyze. If required, you can then drill down multiple times to further focus your search on a particular area of concern. 
Applied filters are shown at the top of the page. This ease of traffic exploration is available with nearly all of the gadgets. Now let's go back to the dashboard to look at some of the other gadgets. Next up is the top endpoints gadget. The highest traffic generators and consumers are listed in this gadget. This list of named endpoints or IP addresses includes both local and remote endpoints. Clicking details allows you to quickly run a report to show the top 20 endpoints with the highest network usage for the selected time frame. In all views, it is possible to drill down further or manually apply filters to get more specific information. If, for example, the endpoint that you are searching for is not shown in the report, it's possible to do a search by using the endpoint filter. You can independently apply numerous filter types manually to get to the view that you wish. This gadget lets you quickly identify the top talkers on the network and drill down to get additional information such as what application is being used and determining what is business relevant versus recreational traffic. It's a common starting point to help answer the question, why is the network so slow today? Let's look at the top applications dashboard gadget. This gadget lists the top five applications that are generating or consuming the most traffic in the network. Clicking on the application name will open up an application performance view detailing the various statistics about that specific application over the selected time period. Just like the other gadgets, a longer list of applications can be seen by clicking the details button. This gadget will let you get a clearer picture of which applications are running on your network, what those applications traffic patterns are and help you troubleshoot user complaints around slow or sporadic access to business critical applications. We'll now look at the top classes of service gadget. The class of service gadget is a very handy tool for verifying the QoS policies applied by monitoring the class based traffic patterns in your network. With more and more cloud-based applications being adopted by businesses, it's good practice to implement quality of service for critical applications such as VoIP, CRM, cloud or on-premise, and hosted exchange. This will avoid a negative impact on the performance of business critical applications when employees happen to stream videos or play online games, for example. Here we have the Bandwidth Rate Gadget that provides a near real-time granular view of the overall measured bandwidth, which in our scenario is at the gateway. The measured bandwidth is broken down by incoming, outgoing, and local traffic with max and average statistics highlighted in the table. Hovering on the chart provides additional details on a more granular level. By clicking the Details button, you can go into the Reports view which will give you additional information as well as allow the user to run the bandwidth report as far back as three months. This gadget, when used in conjunction with the Traffic Volume gadget, is very helpful for not only troubleshooting and diagnostics, but also for capacity planning and trend analysis. The bandwidth gadget, as is the case with the other gadgets, automatically updates every minute but can be configured to a different frequency as preferred. This gadget highlights the top domains responsible for the most traffic through the network over the selected time period. It is a very important gadget that allows you to quickly identify sites that are being used for recreational purposes versus business relevant browsing. This gadget also allows you to make an informed decision with regards to determining what, if any, sites to block or restrict to certain hours. A good way to get more visibility into where traffic is being generated from or sent to is by viewing the top countries report. This gadget lists the top five countries that are either sources or destinations of traffic. This gives you access to more intelligence when deciding to black out specific regions from a security standpoint and can help with fraud detection and spam fighting. Now let's take a look at the reports. Out of the box, Sparrow IQ comes with a number of canned reports serving different functions such as troubleshoot and trend analysis, and for various audiences, including management reports. All reports can be run anywhere from the last 15 minutes all the way up to three months, 
and are completely brandable. Here is a list of the predefined reports. Let's quickly take a look at one of these. The Executive Summary Report is a high-level report giving you a snapshot of the entire network, effectively providing an overall perspective of network activity for the specified duration. You can choose to export this or any report or have them automated and emailed periodically in PDF format. The Exec Summary Report is ideal to be sent out to key decision makers on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. Reports can be used as is or custom views can be generated through the drill down or filtering options. We'll now have a look at Sparrow IQ's alerting capabilities. Alerts can be configured based on custom conditions and associated threshold values. Once you've determined your baselines, you can now configure alerts to notify you for any number of reasons such as when you want to identify a bandwidth hog, certain recreational sites that are visited for long periods of time, overall bandwidth is reaching a critical consumption, spikes in traffic for specific countries are detected. Alerts can be sent by email so you don't need to check the dashboard continuously. An example of a configured alert is setting up one to notify you when a user has streamed a video on Netflix or any other popular site for longer than five minutes. This concludes our presentation. Thank you for taking the time to watch the demonstration of Sparrow IQ. Please visit our website at www.sparrowiq.com to request a trial or email sales at sparrowiq.com if you have any questions. You can also call us at 1-888-345-1288.